Welcome to another session of circuits and networks. In today's class, under transient analysis of RL circuit, uh, we'll see the solution of uh, current uh, that is called as transient current or the output current which is going to flow through uh, RL circuit when input is DC. And this concept we are going to learn in the name of transient analysis and I'm treating this class as 14 because in our previous classes under 13 classes what we have seen in our transient analysis classes uh, we have seen the approach using differential method as well as Laplace transform method in today we will compare both the methods and we will sort out an example using MATLAB so whether it is a differential approach or whether it is Laplace approach the current through RL circuit is obtained to be V in by R open bracket 1 minus e to the power of minus R by LT. So this is the transient current uh, when you are going to see uh, when a DC is applied to a RL circuit with the help of a switch. So here the switching condition is shown over here. Whereas in the Laplace approach, we are assuming that the current is traveling in the circuit uh, at T greater than zero. So the graph, what you are going to observe, that is I of T, it is exponentially rising. So all these things we have already seen in our previous classes. Let us apply the same logic to an example with the help of a MATLAB model. Before going to that, uh, you have to keep in your mind that uh, when the switch was open, that is uh, current is not flowing into the circuit. So I'll treat the current here to be I of 0 minus, uh, which is an open circuit current. And immediately when the switch is closed, uh, the current condition at t equal to 0 plus it is taken and we need to know that current through inductor cannot change instantaneously. So IL of 0 plus or IL of 0 minus both the values of current here it is 0. Fine. So what happens when the switch is closed and uh, what are the conditions what we need to know and how the transient current is obtained that we are going to see first under differential approach. So when you apply KVL to this closed circuit, uh, I am going, going to get the value of uh, equation of voltage uh, in a closed circuit as equation 1. You can see the voltage developed across resistor is R I of T and the voltage developed across L is L T I of T by DT and that is equivalent to V in. That is the supply voltage. It is distributed among the these two passive elements. Okay. I will take this di by dt plus uh, l common. So r by l i of t and l multiplied on the right hand side v in by l. So this has taken the shape of an equation which is known as differential non-homogeneous equation. Uh, mathematically, uh, we can prove uh, that the solution for this non-homogeneous equation uh, obtained as i of t is equal to e to the power of minus pt integral q e to the power of pt dt plus k e to the power of minus pt. Uh, now when we take the help of the differential equation what we obtain for RL circuit uh, and substituting the value of p as well as q uh, with the equation 5 I am going to get i of t by cancelling out this like terms like this. Uh, I of t will be equal to V in by R plus K e to the power of minus R by LT where K is the constant and that can be determined with the help of initial conditions what we know from the circuit uh, that the current through an inductor cannot change cannot change instantaneously. So the value of current would be uh, 0 and 0 is made equal to V in by R plus K e to the power of minus R by L in the uh, place of T we have replaced it with 0 and with the help of equation 6 I can get the value of K which is equal to minus V in by R. Hence substituting the value of K in equation 6 once again I am going to get I of T is equal to uh, V in by R 1 minus e to the power of minus R by L T or this can be written as uh, V in by R 1 minus e to the power of minus T by tau where tau is known as the time constant whose value can be easily obtained to be L by R. And when you are going to substitute the different values of uh, tau in the name of t, that is uh, 2 tau or 3 tau or 4 tau like that, 
uh, you're going to get the value of uh, current graph uh, by placing the values as exponentially rising. So this is a graph what we have already seen in our previous classes. And if at all you go with the Laplace transform approach, uh, the circuit changes to figure one as figure 1a like this where the resistor has no change but parameter variations v in by s and l changes to sl under laplace domain so applying kvl to this figure 1a i'm going to get minus v in by s plus r into i of s plus l s i of s is equal to zero i hope you understood how we have framed here kvl in figure 1a now I am going to take i of s as common, then I am going to get v in by l by s into s plus r by l. You can also check it out from our previous videos how you got this i of s calculation under Laplace domain. Anyhow, uh, this type of uh, uh, equation can be easily obtained with the help of partial fractions by taking a by s as one term plus b by s plus r by l as another term so hence framing this roman equation 3 and getting the value of a by substituting s equal to 0 i'm going to get the value of a as v in by r whereas b value i'm going to get as minus v in by r fine now substituting the equations uh, in the place of a and b i'm going to get v in by r and minus v in by r and by taking the Laplace equation for this equation 6, I'm going to get I of T as V in by R 1 minus E to the power of minus R by LT. Now, if at all you remember with the differential approach, we got the same answer. Okay, so it's an exponentially rising curve. So what we need to keep in our mind, whether it is RL under differential approach or Laplace approach, the KVL when you apply, you're going to get the equations in these two forms. And with the help of partial differentiation approach, you are going to obtain the non-homogeneous differential equation final output i of t as v in by r of 1 minus e to the power of minus t by tau. And with the partial fractions approach also, by applying inverse Laplace to this particular i of s, you are going to get the value as v in by r 1 minus e to the power of minus t by tau. Anyhow, if at all you are interested, we will check that with the MATLAB condition. So you can check at, uh, check from our previous videos how to obtain the values of uh, resistor, inductor and source uh, from the Simulink library. So for an easy sake, I have taken a switch S as a diode. Now diode is connected over here. When the diode is connected and supply 100 volts is given to RL circuit, the voltage across resistor voltage across inductor and current through the rl circuit here it is calculated and it's shown the values over here and if at all i remove this switch then what is going to happen that is also you can see here how we are going to get the values of current as well as uh, voltage across resistance as 200 respectively first let me run this model so when i'm going to run this model uh, uh, I have to check uh, what is the output condition. So you can see here the current uh, in the circuit it is reached from 0 to 2 amperes. Why 0 to 2 amperes? That is very important. Here you have 100 volts and you have 50 ohms. 100 divided by 50 it becomes 2 amperes. Only because of the switch the current has taken its shape to enter into the circuit and that is why it is exponentially rising and that is what it is I of t. This is I of t v in by r 1 minus e to the power of minus t by tau. So this is the transient current expression and this is the approach of current into the circuit. Now voltage across resistance. Now voltage across resistance is what you have the resistance value. You can see from the circuit diagram here 50 ohms. 50 ohms multiplied with 2 becomes 100 volts. And that is why you get the value of voltage across resistor to be 100 volts. So the uh, voltage waveform is quite familiar to current waveform. In fact, I can say uh, the inductor in steady state becomes short circuit. 
and when it is going to become short circuit the voltage across inductor becomes zero you can see the condition of voltage across inductor is becoming zero over here and it is it is becoming zero over here completely voltage divided by this resistance will give you the value as current 2 amperes whereas the 2 amperes multiplied with 50 ohms will give you the value of voltage across resistance to be 100. So that is how we need to study about the transient analysis. What happens if at all I remove the switch and I apply the 100 volts directly to 50 ohms in series with inductor. So concept of inductor is the inductor in steady state behaves as short circuit and that is why you can see over here the short circuit voltage uh, the short circuit current which made the voltage across the 100 milli henrys the voltage value is 0 whereas the current value is 2 through the circuit and voltage across resistance is 100. In this case when the switch is placed over here you got the value of current as 1.984 whereas when the switch is removed the value of current is 2 amperes so that is the difference played by the switch and this switch is behaving and it is taken into the consideration with certain parameters like uh, diode resistance when it is on it is taken as 0 0.001 the forward voltage is 0 0.8 the snubber resistance and the snubber capacitance values are different and that is why ideal case uh, is not matching with the practical case you can see here the current is supposed to be obtained as 2 amperes whereas here when the diode is taken into the consideration it is 1.984 amperes so that is that is how you need to cross check your result and this is how you need to learn the basics uh, from your uh, from the transient analysis and that when you are going to see through a uh, computational approach that is we are using matlab over here so that is what you are going to see over here when the switch is operated the waveforms of current and voltages are shown in the respective uh, passive elements. In our next class, we are going to see some more numericals on uh, transient analysis and we are going to see the behavior with the help of MATLAB also. So you also uh, calculate the values of uh, current voltage uh, conditions for different variations of voltage and different variations of resistors or inductors. Uh, in the next class, we are going to see the RC approach and later we are going to see RLC approach. So I hope you uh, like this particular session. Uh, so uh, I would like you to uh, request for a sharing of this video among your friends and please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon for future notifications. Thank you.